Okay, sometimes a kid faints and the pediatrician says, you know, I'm probably going to send you to a neurologist and I'll probably send you to a cardiologist. And the mother gives him, why? Why would a cardiologist see a kid? Maybe the kid collapses or faints. Fainting, what we call simple fainting, is clearly extremely common. I mean, if you ask a group of normal people, most people have had potentially one fainting episode in their lives. So let me first off by saying, in terms of the primary care physician that may be looking at this, a first syncopal or fainting episode that can be appropriately explained does not necessarily need a specialist. And what do I mean by appropriately explained? A child who passes out while they're playing football, a child who passes out running down the basketball court and suddenly collapses, that is a serious problem, a potentially serious problem that needs to be looked at. But there's something called vasovagal syncope, or basically simple fainting, same name, that occurs in many individuals with a specific stimulus. So, for example, a child is standing in line in a, in a, on a hot day on line somewhere, um, is sweating and passes out. A child sustains an acute injury and passes out. A child has blood drawing and passes out. These are situations that we all know can occur in normal individuals, and that is called vasovagal syncope. There's a reason that can be easily explained. In those individuals, a single episode really does not need a workup. The child that needs to be seen by a specialist is really two types of patients. One, where it occurs during exercise, where there may be an underlying heart problem, like an arrhythmia or a problem with the heart muscle or a child that's having multiple episodes of vasovagal syncope or simple fainting, not because it's a disease, but because if a child continues to pass out, that child may indeed hurt himself or herself. There is also a rare entity called prolonged QT syndrome, and this can present as fainting or simple fainting, vasovagal syncope. And that, those individuals have an abnormality on their electrocardiogram, but again, it's usually familial. So if you're asking the family, is there a history of fainting or someone who has had a major event, and then the child collapses, it's worth getting an electrocardiogram and a cardiology consult. But if you're only basically looking to evaluate a child who's otherwise healthy, it really is only the child has more than two maybe three episodes, where you want the child seen by a cardiologist, primarily for possibility of treatment modalities to prevent this normal phenomenon. 